Welcome to Year 4 Reading um, for this week. What we're going to be doing is obviously our comprehension books will continue as they have done for the last two weeks, um, although we're looking to replace them and come up with something else because they're due to run out um, at the end of this week, so we will have something in place for you for next week. Um, what I wanted to do this morning was just recap on uh, where we are so far with our reading and what we've done so far this year. Um, as I put on the slide here, it seems like a long time since we were all reading together. Um, however, it is really important that we don't forget everything that we've learned. We've made huge progress this year in year four, and it's something we don't want to waste. So I'm just going to talk you through some of the things that we need to be remembering when we're completing our comprehension. Um, although we're we're doing something slightly different at the moment, we are reading a lot of different texts. Um, this is different from what we do in school normally, where we normally focus on one text for a week or two. Um, it is really important that we don't forget what type of text we are reading every day okay it's very important that we keep that in our minds um, so each day what i would like you to do please and you can write this onto your book i'd like you to identify whether the text is non-fiction or fiction so remember the difference fiction is usually story writing of some form or another something that's made up where non-fiction is usually fact-based, information texts, things that you can go and find some facts about real life, facts that usually are true. Um, an example of this would be if you had a biography, for example, somebody had written a, um, about somebody else's life, um, that would be non-fiction and it would be biography, would be the genre. Um, alternatively, you could have a fiction story that is an adventure story. So you've got to try and work out really when you're reading your text in the morning, is it non-fiction, is it fiction, and what genre it is. The other thing we need to be really starting to, to focus back on again are types of question. Um, we've done a lot of work this year about different types of questions. I'm sure you can remember Vipers. OK, something we brought in during the course of the year, but it's, you know, each of those letters stands for a type of question. What I want you to try and do for the next couple of minutes, can you try and remember what each letter means? Say them out loud, say them to an adult, say them to somebody else at home. Um, please pause the video while you're thinking and while you're shouting out loud and then press play when you're ready for me to carry on. OK, so hopefully you've been able to remember what most of the letters stand for. Vocabulary. They are usually words that are about, uh, or questions, sorry, that are about words in the text. They might ask you for the meaning of words. They might ask you for words that mean the same thing. Um, but usually something to do with the text and the words and what they mean. The I stands for inference. Now, this is the one that we generally have found the most difficult this year. Inference is where you have to walk in the character's shoes if it's a story, where you have to put yourself in somebody else's position. And also, usually, if you make a statement about something, you've got to be able to back it up. I always say to my children in class, why, 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 why? OK, it's not just good enough to say to, or to make a statement or a fact, to sort of say a fact about something. You've got to be able to explain yourself and say why. Prediction, P for prediction. Okay, usually this comes at the beginning of the week and sometimes we'd be asking you to make predictions on what we think is gonna happen next in the text. However, it's not just you saying what you think is gonna happen. You've got to say why. That why is starting to run through a few of these question types. E is explanation where you will be asked sometimes to explain something in detail. You might be able, you might be asked to explain how something works. You might be asked to explain how someone might be feeling. Either way, you've got to put some detail in there. It can't just be a simple sentence. You've got to be saying, it's explaining how something works. Give me the detail. 
prove to me that you've got that understanding. R is recall. Usually we find recall the easiest thing. That's where usually the answers are simply sat in the text, ready for you to pick up. And generally, we're quite good at recall questions. And finally, summarising. Summarising is not always that easy. And that's where on a Thursday in school, quite often we used to focus on summarising. That is where you need to take a part of the text and put it into your own words. And if you remember, I always try to get you to do it in two or three sentences, maybe a paragraph or a chunk of, a, of text in two or three sentences. You do not want to be making it too detailed. OK. Hopefully that's got you OK with Vipers. What I want you to do, therefore, when you are answering your comprehension questions this week, could you perhaps type in, um, I try and identify what type of question each one is? Maybe you could write it onto your book next to the answer. Just something that makes you think, actually, I know that's a vocab question, or I think that's a prediction question, or that is definitely inference because it's asking for me to, to, to say why I think something. If you can do that, then that will be brilliant, because what that is doing is making sure that we're not forgetting everything that we've learned this year. I hope that helps with what we're looking for in reading this week. Other than that, everything will stay the same. And we'll be answering the, the comprehension questions and we will be posting the answers for you online. OK, so take care and I'll speak to you next week when we know what we're doing for the next block of reading learning. Take care then. Goodbye.